You have identified the black and white Colobus monkey. And Colobus comes from a Greek word that means shortened or mutilated. And that refers to the thumb on the monkey's hands. If you look, you'll notice they just, they're very short. They don't have thumbs to speak of. It limits their dexterity quite a bit, but it also allows them to swing through the branches quickly. So give and take. And Colobus monkeys have the ability to digest mature leaves or even toxic leaves. Their stomachs are very tough. So that allows them to live in places where a lot of other monkeys can't live because they can't survive on that kind of food. And the Colobus monkey also recycles its own urine, so that allows it to live in areas that go through long dry spells. So again, that limits their competition for resources quite a bit. And they live in family groups of about eight to 15 members. You have a dominant male and then a few adult females and then their offspring. And a typical day for the Colobus monkey starts out in the morning. They're all just kind of basking in the sun, getting warm, and then they go out to feed. And they don't have to look far for food because they can digest most things. They have very tough stomachs. And then at midday, they take a break. They groom each other. They digest their food. The women may gossip. Did you see what so-and-so is wearing? I know. And then in the afternoon, they go back to eating. And then when things get darker, they go to their favorite sleeping trees. They do have preferred trees for sleeping. And then they rest. And Colobus monkeys take turns on guard duty. They're looking for things like leopards, hawks, or even chimpanzees will sometimes come in and try to steal their babies. So they have to be aware of that. And if they do detect a predator, they sound the alarm and everyone just dives out of the tree. They dive up to 50 feet, just whoo. But it is not uncommon for them to negotiate the dive poorly. And they sometimes have fatal accidents. And Colobus monkeys help each other with the rearing of the young. The females in the troop support each other with their children. But it's not uncommon for a new Colobus monkey mother to not really know what she's doing and do a poor job in spite of the support system that she has. And she oftentimes loses her firstborn. But she learns from that experience and her future offspring have a much greater chance of surviving. So, circle of life. And that is what it's like to be a Colobus monkey.